Mr. Nelson, this question, question begins with you. Explain the DREAM initiative and why it's a good thing or a bad thing. Well, the DREAM initiative is a good thing if we have to have public involvement, though. Nothing free, you know, we got that DREAM initiative through the, through the state. They give us some money for some advertising and signs and things like that. They put you at the top of the list, supposedly, for grants and things like that. And they help you with design programs. And, and we've taken advantage of some of that. The DREAM program is not going to work unless people get buy into it. Unless we have banks and businesses and things like that that want to be involved. It's just like joining the chamber. If you join the chamber, then go back to your business and don't do anything, it's not going to work for you. You have to take the opportunity of being a chamber member and work it. The city's done a good job with the Dream Initiative, but the city is not the one that's going to make that work. It's going to take people buying into the Dream Initiative, spending money, loaning money, doing things like that to make that work. I agree with that, and I've been on the steering committee for the Dream Initiative since the beginning. 